Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the second game between Keen and Jiraiya. The very stylish green in the upper right-hand corner for Keen, bottom left-hand corner. We have Jiraiya as the peach. Never know. I'm never sure it's like tan or peach or whatever. We'll call it skin. Skin Zerg in the bottom left-hand corner. Granted, brown would technically in like certain shades of red, whatever. I've heard from artists that essentially, like if you look at skin color, you know that skin color is basically just various shades of brown. That's what it comes down to. But yes, that is why I said, anyway. Um, so if you'll notice, I've gotten rid of the production tab here in the upper left-hand corner. Mostly on request on the stream. It is a casting crutch. I feel like my casting <laughs> ends up not being as on par and I have to be a little bit more on top of it, but we'll remove that for now. Let me know if you prefer that from YouTube audience or you like, I think the players would actually prefer it to be off because it hides the build orders a bit. If you wanted to be like really overly aggressive, you could just keep that up. I'm okay with it either way. I do think it adds a layer of excitement to not have it there. Even more layer of excitement, I could get rid of this and just like have no clue what's going on and be almost like we're the player. But anyway, let me know YouTube audience whether you uh, want the production tab in that upper left hand corner off or not. Looks like we are seeing an Overlord opener here for Keen. We are seeing once again an in-base hatchery from Jiraiya. This is on a four player map, which I believe... Is this Wavelet? Might be Wavelet. All of a sudden I can't cast anymore. No, I don't have my crutch. But it looks like Keen is opting for a 12 hatchery, which I think is the more intelligent play on a four player map. We'll see how it plays out. Jiraiya getting that spawning pool. So it looks like he wants to follow up with similar play to game one. Now keep in mind against 12 hatch, you're economically behind, but you can potentially get aggressive with the Zerglings as far as a follow up. Keen ended up losing the previous match with kind of the, the Zergling counterplay. I almost wish once he had that natural expansion somewhat secure, if he had just plopped down that Spire and honestly pumped Mutalist from there, I think he would have been A-OK. -okay. Extractor plopping down, neither player having any information thus far. That is one difficulty in Zerg vs. Zerg with gigantic maps like this, is sometimes, yeah, it's like you even want to sacrifice a Zergling to find out where your opponent is. I, I feel like with the locations as they are and Keen wanting to potentially stay more defensive in base, that the Overlord's being at such a distance location, it's going to play against him a little bit. The Overlord now moving in location, it looks like Jiraiya. Trying to weave this Overlord around. Actually, both players weaving the Overlord around, potentially to remain undetected, Overlord versus Overlord. The initial Zerglings are out, and they're making their way across. We do see six Zerglings being created for Keen as well. So he'll be in a decent defense position. Jiraiya getting the initial Zergling out in the field. Getting speed, comparatively we have no speed, immediate morph to layer for Keen. So as long as he holds this ramp and can defend this hatchery, he'll be in an okay position. However, keep in mind, Jiraiya, as far as a follow-up, is definitely going for a Link Flood. In fact, he's pulled out all of the drones on Extractor to just be very aggressive in this regard. And I feel like an Overlord might have been skipped right there to push to layer once again. So basically, Jiraiya needs to get it done with the Zerglings he has on the ground. Keen filling in with a handful of more Zerglings. He's definitely got the superior economy and raw drone count, but neither player has scouted each other still. Finally, Keen finds this base, but can't break through with that Zergling. Jiraiya still looking around. And this is just giving Keen more time. He's got that Spire now mutating at his main. If... Even a handful of Zerglings, looks like that Zergling getting picked off at the natural expansion. Even if a handful of mules get out in the air, that could be dangerous. Jiraiya now scouting overhead. And unfortunately, Keen out of position as the Zerglings are making their way down. So that's going to allow this grouping of Zerglings to make their way to the north. And Keen's having to engage to the south. So these Zerglings going undefended, walking into the main. So Spire does not matter. Keen not recognizing the situation he was in. A repeat of the build in game one. So now going to end up with, first of all, a down Spire, and that is certainly potentially GG from him. These Zerglings look like they did a decent job as far as engaging. Might lose his spawning pool as well. More Zerglings being spawned, trying to chase this down. Lost mining time. 
looks like the Zerglings are at least being cleaned up. So small mercies, but more Zerglings flooding forward, more Zerglings being produced, and the ramp is still not blocked for Keen. So potentially more Zerglings are going to engage here. Neither player, honestly, microing the Zerglings all that fantastically in this engagement. However, Jiraiya continuing to press. He's got cross position, so this is a long distance to travel to try to get here. So Keen might be able to follow this up. And keep in mind, he does have equivalent amount of hatcheries and a superior economy. So even with Zergling Flood, he still might be in a position to pull this out. So he's defending that natural expansion. Jiraiya backing off. Keen still two drones ahead, keep in mind. Maybe if he... Now here's the question. Does he want to just outproduce him with Zerglings at this stage? Not sure if he realizes he's got the, the drone lead. Or does he want to try to sneak that Spire once again and try to defend that natural expansion and just have enough Zerglings on the ground to defend? Moving out once again... Overlord scouting that that's an open ramp and two Zerglings once again potentially going to run by. The Zerglings finally getting up there for Keen. Are they going to be able to blockade though? No, it looks like they're able to run right in. So potentially additional disruption in mining. The drones defending themselves. This is a... Looks like the, the Zerglings have pulled back for Keen in the meantime. He's going to try to win it potentially on Spire. It looks like one drone does get picked off. Does a second drone get picked off? No. So Keen holds the lead. Still has a sizable tech lead. Natural expansion now being built for Jiraiya. That will give him a larva lead overall. Zergling's wandering out once again. And I feel like Keen should just play, the, just sit back and defend. He's now running forward with additional Zerglings. He's got the Overlord in the main. But instead, getting aggressive with the Zerglings, the Overlord's going to see it. Jiraiya having a debate both directions. And the Zerglings now flooding in to the natural expansion. It is going to be potentially an elimination situation of who can micro and dedicate... More Zerglings more rapidly. And with three hatcheries just compared to the two hatcheries to eat a lot of beef. Creep Colony trying to be planted. A lot of beef. A lot of beef in the way. Jiraiya working on that Spire again. I don't see any Mutalists being produced. So the Spire going to go down. Creep Colony being morphed. But it is an onslaught. It's who can eliminate who more rapidly with the amount of Zerglings that are on the ground. The natural expansion down. A single drone trying to escape. This might be a... Drone trying to walk to that net to the basically if he walks to Keen, maybe plant down something there. But Keen looks like he might come out ahead in this. Now working on the sunk colony overall. So these Zerglings working on the lair. But the natural expansion still mining. And there are Zerglings to go ahead and blockade that ramp. The Zerglings are gonna return to home base. No, stay there, finish the game. Looks like they're gonna return to home base to try to defend. So it's only the hatchery left. An extractor was snuck by Jiraiya at the 9 o'clock location. That's the reason. Keen realizing he missed out on a drone. So now, if this hatchery goes down, that's going to be match. A Mutalisk somehow got out here. But that hatchery is just moments away from... That's it! Keen gets eliminated. Incredibly close match. And really, it is the extractor at the 9 o'clock location that saves it for Jiraiya. Jiraiya sneaking through with a thread. Man, what an exciting CVZ. This is going to be a great series. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll move on to game three. Currently, Jiraiya leading 2-0.